I, I've got so many of these FDR clips on taxes. Let's see if this is the one I was looking for. Here we go. This is FDR. Taxes, after all, are the dues that we pay for the privilege of membership in an organized society. And as society becomes more civilized, government, national and state and local, is called on to assume more obligations to its citizens. The privileges of membership in a civilized society have vastly increased in modern times. But I am afraid we have many who still do not recognize their advantages and want to avoid paying their dues. Yeah, we definitely do. And uh, in fact, uh, FDR continues along those lines here. On the one hand, there has been a vast majority of citizens who believe that the benefits of democracy should be extended and who are willing to pay their fair share to extend them. And on the other hand, there has been a small but powerful group which has fought the extension of these benefits because it did not want to pay a fair share of their cost. Which is just boiling it down to, you know, the essential issue here, which is that that FDR wanted to use tax dollars to expand things like Medicare, well, it wasn't Medicare back then, Social Security, certainly, uh, you know, unemployment insurance, things like that, and the, the, the equivalent of the Koch brothers of that day, the, the conservatives, the, the wealthy conservatives of his day, were saying, wait a minute, this is socialism, you're helping people out, and they didn't work for the money, and they didn't inherit the money, and you have to do one or the other, right? Right, FDR continues. Taxes shall be levied according to ability to pay. That is the only American principle. And the people are willing to accept it. I mean, you know, this, this, this should be fairly straightforward stuff, fairly easy to figure out. And, well, here he is one more time. This is Franklin Roosevelt talking about taxes. We fought the World War, and it cost us $25 billion in three years to win it. We borrowed to fight that war. A democratic administration provided sufficient taxes to pay off the entire war debt within 10 or 15 years. Those taxes in the war days had been levied according to ability to pay. But the succeeding Republican administration did not believe in that principle, and there was a reason. They had political debt to those who sat at their elbows. To pay those political debts, they reduced the taxes of their friends in the higher bracket and left the national debt to be paid by later generations. And that was in 1936, Franklin Roosevelt made that speech. He was talking about what happened in the Roaring Twenties. And, I mean, you know, when you consider it, it's, it's, it's really quite extraordinary how, you know, there's just the whole story of taxation and, and how, you know, there's, there's, there's almost nothing new here. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like, in 1936, Franklin Roosevelt said, Republicans want to cut taxes on rich people because they owe them political debts. Now, what kind of political debts would they owe them? Well, I mean, obviously, the rich people helped them get elected, gave them power. Here's FDR one more time. I've got a few more clips here. They got out from under then. They would get out from under now if their friends could get back into power and they could get back into the driver's seat. But neither you nor I think that they are going to get back. Well, actually, they have gotten back. They have gotten back right now. They're, they're essentially running the show. And that's, that's the, the thing that, you know, FDR, you know, obviously didn't anticipate. And, and uh, you know, we should know. I mean, here's, here's FDR one more time on taxes. One, one more time, FDR. But you would think, to hear some people talk, that those good people who live at the top of our economic pyramid are being taxed into rags and tatters. But what is the fact? The fact is that they are much further away from the poorhouse than they were in 1932. And you and I know that as a matter of personal observation. 
people. In other words, FDR has fixed the economy to a large extent. I mean, keep in mind, this is 1936. We were arguably still in the Great Dep Depression, but the, the uh, you know, a lot had, had resolved. And here's FDR one more time. This is it's just amazing to step into the Wayback Machine and discover that the exact same fight that we're having today, which is Republicans standing up for the interests of rich people and wanting to screw working people, is the exact same fight that Franklin Roosevelt was fighting in 1936. Here he is. A number of my friends who belong in the very high upper bracket have suggested to me on several occasions of late that if I am re-elected president, they will have to move to some other nation because of high taxes here. Now, I will miss them very much. There you go. We're all going to miss them very much. I think we've got, we should have music in my ear here. There we go. And uh, we'll be back in just a minute. It's coming up on 28 minutes past the hour. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. Next plan. How should Democrats be responding to it? Your calls.